Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Mark Miles, and I love helping trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators really take the results to the next level. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about one simple hack that you can do in order to make your online delivery course or online training even more successful. And this is a little bit an unusual one, and we're actually going to take three steps back, um, and we're going to think about the fact that ultimately we need our learners engaged we need our learners motivated and we need them participating as much as possible but here's the thing folks if you are leaving the engagement to the start of the actual workshop you're leaving it too late you really are and what we need to really encourage people to do is get connected and get motivated to the experience before the experience even starts right and also, you as a trainer, presenter, coach, facilitator, mentor, whatever you want to call yourself, really need to start to build that connection or rapport with the audience before you even start the show. So what I highly recommend that you start doing is pre-tasking, pre-tasking, right? Now, this is not sending an email to the audience, you know, maybe 20 people, 50 people, 100 people, and telling them to go and read their entire chapter of a book or, you know, go and um, do a huge task that's just going to take them so long, right? If you want to pick something that is simple and easy to do, but is still getting them to take the first step. And here's the thing, folks, getting them to answer three or four questions with just a yes or a no can be still taking a small, simple step. But through the act of taking a small, simple step, they have gotten involved in the process, right? And what you can do is you can start to see how committed people are by how quickly they respond to your task to answer the three or four simple questions, right? Now, some of the questions I love to ask before I run a course are questions such as, number one, yes or no, have you ever been a participant on a Zoom class before? Why would I ask that? Well, it's going to tell me, do they know the functionality of Zoom, right? Second question, have they ever delivered a course on Zoom before? Yes or no? Why would I ask that? Well, it's going to tell me their experience level in delivering online training. So I might ask, have you ever delivered training um, through Zoom or another platform as a presenter, right? Next question could be, do you know how to set up folders on your computer? All right, a bit of a crazy question, but that is going to tell me the level of digital literacy they may have or how well they can move around a computer. Another question you may drop in is if you need them to have it, you could say, do you have Word or do you have PowerPoint on your computer? Right? Just some simple, simple questions around software. Next one, I love to ask the question, do you have a preferred email address that you would prefer that I communicate with you on during the course. Now, this is opening up communications, also getting people to think a little bit. It's a bit of an open-ended question there. Now, the last final question I might ask, or you might ask is, going through the course, what's one thing that you would absolutely love to learn more about, right? So if you're delivering a course on leadership, you could drop in the question, what's one thing you would love to learn about leadership, right? Um, you could drop in, um, you know, if you're talking about <clears throat> public speaking, you'd ask the question, what's one thing that you would love to learn about public speaking? Guess what, folks? It's just a one thing. It's not a 10 things. It's just a one thing. And again, de depending on how much someone actually puts in here is going to really determine or show you the kind of person that may show up in your workplace, right? Or in your workshop. And what I mean by this is if they're putting in lots of detail, Great. And, you know, maybe that's going to show a high level of commitment. Also, maybe if they're going, you know, putting in a couple of answers, but then they're really explaining themselves and justifying and doing all of that, that's going to give you a clue on their personality as well. Maybe if they drop in a comment such as, I'm really excited about the course, can't wait to meet you and all that kind of stuff, that may also give you some other hints as well there, folks. So I love to set pre-tasking questions, right? Yes or no, simple ones. There may be an open-ended question, such as what's your preferred email address, if you've got one. And then last of all, what's one thing you would love to learn as you come to this workshop or that you want to get out of the workshop that you're about to go through, right? 
So simple pre-tasking, and it gives you visuals. It gives you visuals on their personality, and also it does give you data that you can actually work with and integrate into your workshop that you run online. And guess what, folks? You can do it in the face-to-face -face context as well. But the thing is, you can quickly notice how motivated someone is based on how quickly they respond to your pre-tasking. And if they're not responding until like the night before, maybe they've got a lot going on and maybe that'll continue through your workshop as well. Maybe they've got a lot of distractions. Or maybe they're not someone that's really committed and they're only doing it because they have to, right? So the pre-tasking gives you so much data on how people respond, their personality, and maybe what else is going on for them leading up and during your workshop as well there. So I hope you got some value from the video. Maybe drop in the comments, you know, if there's a question that you love to ask pre-task, or maybe there's a question that you think would be a great one to add in, drop it in the chat box and share it with other people as well there. On that note, hope you got some value from the topic of pre-tasking before an online delivery or online training. Thanks for watching, team, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.